We all know NGS is a real action combat MMO where you fight in real time. It requires a certain degree's reaction from the players while playing. Before we talk about the animation cancel issue, we will have to understand a few things. Iframe stands for invulnerability frames, meaning you won't be taking any type of damage during these frames. It's a mechanic, it's where you dodge most of the attacks from bosses in NGS. Things like stab, where you can avoid the incoming damage. Animation lock, where it's essentially the design of the game on some action. After using these action, you cannot do anything in a certain amount of time. That is an animation lock where you have to let the animation finish, then you can do something afterward. Things like sword fifth combo where you cannot do anything but to wait for this wing to finish. And finally the animation cancel where you cancel part of the animation of an action by another action. Things like Braver's counter hit scan attack where you can step or guard out of it to cancel the rest of the animation. Animation lock is everywhere in NGS, like let me ask you this, how many times have you died to gigantic because of the animation lock on your PA, right? That's exactly what I'm talking about, actions with animation locks are just bad. For myself, I play Gunner in both base game and NGS, they are both Gunner but feels very different, especially when you compare the animation lock, where the base game Gunner can basically animation cancel everything beside maybe one or two PAs. In NGS, however, there are many animation locks they put on different PAs. Even your normal attacks get a few frames that you can animation cancel. Animation lock in general is just bad. It really interrupts the flow of the gameplay. It's like, you know all these moves from a boss, but you can't execute the iframe correctly because your class's PA cocks you with its animation lock. I'm not saying Sega should just entirely remove the animation lock. I get it, where some attacks are stronger and you will have to commit to it, hence why the animation lock existed in the first place, where you commit at the wrong time, you would get punished by the boss. I wish they fixed animation lock issue by reducing or removing animation lock on those PAs that's more commonly used, such as Bullet Ray from Gunner, I'm sure most of the gunners out there use that PA a lot. I don't believe something that's used so often should be punished by animation lock. Just like how they design Braver, you have different choices of PA to use. Obviously, the one that animation locks, you will do more damage. And the one that does animation lock, you does less damage. Give players more choices in terms of PAs. I think that's the way to fix it. What is your thought on animation lock in terms of different classes? Did you happen to die to a boss because of animation lock? You may leave your comments below and let us know. That will be it for this video. Thank you for watching. My name is Dave. See you next time. Have a wonderful day and happy farming.